taking a quick look at an RCA 5 disc CD changer. Good afternoon YouTube here with you on a Monday at uh, 1 20 in the afternoon it's uh, a uh, day after I went to Gary's I think I just posted the video on that I had a tough time with that video I'll tell you what I posted it last night and instantly got it uh, it got uh, banned from YouTube or whatever they call it but it wouldn't play because of the music in the background uh, Gary had his radio on, which, you know, it wasn't up that loud. I didn't think it'd really be a problem, but uh, apparently it was. So this morning when I got up, I went ahead and edited it out as much as I could. It seems to be working now, so it sounds a little messed up, but, you know, it is what it is. So uh, While I was down there, um, I took Gary a, a Fisher 5 CD changer and he was wanting one to play with his Fisher uh, stereo that I, I repaired for him because mainly because I think the FM had quit working on the uh, Fisher uh, sometime between when I gave it back to him and, and now it just doesn't work anymore so um, he wanted something to listen to so he had a, a, an RCA 5 disc changer that didn't work or worked intermittently I guess is the best way to put it um, so uh, I brought it back with me and I'm gonna see if I can repair it um, so that's that and uh, what you're gonna see here next is the actual disc player that I brought back and uh, take a look at it and see what's happening with it. all right well, you can see I have the uh, uh, obviously the disc is spinning as you can see it uh, I do have it apart. It took me a while to figure out the uh, how to get this thing apart, uh, but I did, and uh, it is now working on the bench. And it took me a while to get it working. Um, the uh, buttons, I think Gary seemed to think the buttons was uh, sticky or whatever, and that's a possibility. Um, they uh, don't seem to work the first time you push them. It takes a while, but for one thing, the uh, tray that comes out. Uh, doesn't always doesn't always come out all the way. In fact, it it hangs up a little bit. So we'll have to take a look at that, get that working better. But uh, for now, it is working. So you can hear that. So there you go, there's that, and uh, like I say, it will stop. Now, I don't know if it's going to jump out at me or not, but it has in the past when I press stop, come out at me, so. And that time didn't do anything, so. Uh, so that's why I say the buttons are just not, oh, there it goes, it stopped that time. And it started when I, I hit the stop again. It might be this, this button, this thing here, too. It's a little bit loose. Let's see if I can turn power off. See what that does. That didn't do anything either. It's hard to see, but the uh, thing is lit up here, down here in the display. I think I got the power off that time. Alright, that works. Let's see if we can hit it again, come back on. Yep, there it goes. I think one of the things I'm, I'm missing here is it takes a minute for it to spin up or whatever it's doing. Just now it didn't, it stopped spinning. Let's see if we can hit play again, see if it'll go again. So it does work. I'll load up some more C CDs in there and see what it does. But I think it, may it maybe just needs to be worked a little bit and uh, we'll go from there though. Turn that down. I don't know if I get a hit on that CD or not, but after last night's debacle, I don't want to try that again. Um, anyway, like I said, uh, 
stop. Uh, it does not work, it doesn't appear. Yeah, it shouldn't take that long, I don't think, to stop. So this cluster, let me take you down here and look at this a little bit here. This cluster here is our main cluster as far as uh, operations. If I hit stop, it should stop, but it's not. I don't know if what happens if I hit play or pause again. It doesn't do anything that I can see. So, I don't know if the skip works. Let me see if that works. Well, apparently it is stopped. Or it's not playing anyway. Nothing coming out anyway. We'll put it that way. Yeah, it's all messed up. goes. Spinning anyway. Whoops, stopped for a second and it stopped. Yeah, it's, I can see what Gary's talking about now. It's just uh, really doesn't have any it, should, it doesn't do what it's supposed to do, we'll put it that way. It just kind of does what it wants to do. <laughs> so let me, uh, let me open this up a little bit more and we'll see what we can find out in that. So stay tuned. Ah, I'm back once more. I've been lubing up the uh, rails here and I tightened up the uh, wheel that uh, turns this a little bit. And I think it works a lot better than it did. Seems to open and close pretty good. Now sometimes I have to push it a little bit to closing it, but uh, not always. Now that it's just a little bit of a tightness in these uh, rails here, and that seems to be the biggest problem. Probably what it needs to be done is clean all this off and put some fresh grease in there. I think that would probably be the the biggest thing to help it out. Uh, like I said, I think working it like that does help a little bit. But this one here, this this uh, wheel here seems to be the binding point. Well, if you'll watch when I close it. See, it goes up in the back. I don't know if you notice that. It seems like it just needs to be tightened a little bit more yet. So, I think that's what we're going to try next. Open it back up and see if I can get to that screw over there. I don't want to tighten it too much. That is just plastic, you know. We can't uh, over tighten it. Yeah, it's just not got enough to gumption to do it. It tries. That part of it works good. Just a little help, it goes right back in. I mean, just barely a light touch. Let's see if it plays any better than it did. No, oh, that made it come back out. <laughs> That's kind of odd. I'm not sure how that works. Now everything I press seems to be opening and closing the door. And it went back by itself that time. Now this this swap seems to work pretty good. Uh, not totally, but uh, it does take them around to another disc. And if I press a different one, it will swap again.
goes back the other way. I don't understand that. That seems to be the a problem with that. just be the next disc that may be what that is I, I don't know yeah that's what it is so he goes to the next disc I just never noticed that before that's what it does all right that's just plain skips what that is okay now that makes more sense now I can understand why it's doing that all right uh, like I said I getting slowly getting things functions to work uh, again, I don't know how well it's going to stay, but let's see if I hit stop to see if that does anything. Nope. Doesn't appear to. As long as it's spinning, it doesn't want to open and close either. Oh, there it goes. Now, let's see if it'll open and close. Nope. It is just going to have to be... See, that's just too loose in there. You see how loose that is? And it's riding on that rail. That rail's probably wore out over time. I thought if I could get enough grease in there, that might help it uh, come back a little bit to life. Uh, I don't know. It's just not enough grease in there, I don't think. Let me try putting some more grease on it, and I'll come back a little bit later. Ah, oh, good morning, YouTube. Here with you on a uh, Tuesday morning. A little about uh, 10.40 in the morning. And what you see in front of you is the same thing I showed before. Um, I have got it all buttoned back up again. I think I'm going to set this one on the shelf somewhere. And what the deal is with it, it's just got too many problems. Uh, uh, I, I, I know these switches over here are bad. They're, uh, they're little micro switches, uh, momentary contact behind these buttons. And that's part of the problem, but there's errors coming up on it too, and it's clicking, making noises inside. And I just decided, I think, well, you know, I've got that Yamaha. Uh, it does the same thing. I mean, it, it works. It, it does, it's the same kind of changer. In fact, I think it's a 6 CD. But anyway, I think what I'm going to do is just uh, put this one off and not put any time in, any more time into it, I should say. And uh, just call it, write it, write it off, as it were. <laughs> Maybe someday, uh, Bob sent me a link for those switches uh, on the board to replace them. They're really cheap out of China, so, you know, I may buy those. Now, Gary told me that him and his mother both smoke, and I'm sure that's uh, probably the reason they don't work. The, uh, whatever it is from the smoke gets in, you know, in the switch contacts and stuff like that inside of them. They're, they're impossible to clean. You can't get like a spray in there and clean them. So, like I said, that's just part of the problem though. Uh, it does play CDs. It, you know, you have to fiddle with it a lot to get it to play, but it will play a whole CD. I've, I've done that. And, uh, it, but it doesn't switch to the next one on its own and stuff like that so you know like I said it's just not worth it to me to uh, mess with it anymore I've got too many other things that I could be doing like the Arvin now I also up here on the uh, wall <laughs> I don't know if you, how well you can see it but that's uh, the uh, AM Super Hat right there hanging up just I'd put it up there to get out of the way um, there's Probably some of you guys are saying, what, what happened to that? Well, the uh, the capacitors I ordered to uh, put those, uh, I think they were 150, 
or were they 150 nanofarad? Whatever they were, the big green ones that came in, they're under here somewhere. Yeah, here they are. These things are huge. This is not really what I wanted. Um, that, I mean, they're they're 150s. I mean, I understand that. Uh, 0.15 microfarad, and they're they're you know they would work, but. I had ordered, at the same time I ordered these, uh, a bunch from China that are a lot smaller than these. And uh, those are due to come in any day, and that's why I've kind of been putting off the, uh, getting back to that. I want to get the smaller ones, I think, and use those. I think they will work out much better in the long run. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to get this off the bench right now. And what I'm going to do in, in this place, I'm going to put the Arvin, and we're going to recap the Arvin. And that'll that'll be a good little project. And uh, I also want to clean my bench up and get some of this crap out of here. I did get stuff from, uh, <laughs> this was something I was beginning to wonder if I would ever see. Um, these are the, this is the order from DigiKey that I placed way back when and uh, was supposed to have been in here a week ago well it'll be two weeks Thursday I think yeah two weeks Thursday that it had it was supposed to be here and uh, so it it was a little bit late but it was just all resistors they are all PTR um, stuff and uh, nothing you know that I can't uh, live without as, as far as uh, stuff like that but Anyway, those will be going into the PTR parts of bin that I build. Uh, the next one, I should say, I build. So those are going to be coming up. Um, but I did get them, and I was happy about that, obviously. So that's that. And uh, let's see, I think that's about it. Okay, like I said, I want to get this this uh, CD player or disc uh, changer off. And put it in the, uh, out of the way somewhere. Probably I'll put it back up <laughs> exactly where the other one, the Fisher I gave to Gary, was. It was up on top of the shelf in there in the kitchen, and it was way out of the way. And that's probably what I'll do with this. So, all right, I think I'm gonna wrap this up, and I'll bring you back sometime in the future here uh, soon, and we'll have the Arvin up on the bench. Maybe maybe the bench cleaned off a little bit better. I hope. And uh, we'll get back to it. So you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching. And we will see you.